Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksons here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, I'm sure most of you guys have already kind of seen the diamond camo that is currently inside of the Season 13 test server and will be coming inside of Season 13 to the global server. But most people have been super confused as to how this camo will actually be obtainable. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how you can get it inside of the test server, which more than likely will be how you get it when it does come to the global and Garena servers. And as an added bonus inside of this video, I'll actually be able to show you guys exactly what the skin looks like inside of the game. I'm not just talking about like when you're in Gunsmith, but when you are actually playing a game, I can show you guys exactly what it looks like on the XQR, which I am able to do thanks to Terry Maskman. He is actually the guy that grinded to get this weapon diamond in the test server server and again I will explain exactly how we did that very soon but he did basically go into a private lobby with me and then he basically let me kill him and pick up the weapon so that I could show you guys exactly what it looks like inside of the game on the map Nuketown Russia. Now, do keep in mind, Diamond will look a little bit different depending on what gun you do actually have it on. In my past video, I did show you guys exactly what Diamond looks like on every single weapon inside of like the gunsmith setup. So if you guys wanna see all of the different weapons, you can go to my last video, it will be linked down below. But once again, this is what it does look like inside of the game. And in my personal opinion, I think it came out really, really good looking. I do think it looks a little bit better in the gunsmith setup as opposed to in game, but I still think it looks really dope in game. And I think the QXR isn't even really the best weapon to see it on. I think there's other guns that look really, really nice with the diamond i think like the launchers look super cool but obviously getting diamond on every single weapon in the test server is unrealistic so we're gonna have to wait to see what it looks like on all of the different weapons uh for when it does actually come out in the global server which by the way i think in my road to damascus series every time i grind for a gun to get it gold i think i'll also get it diamond inside of that episode as well just so you guys can see exactly what that does look like so definitely make sure to drop a sub down below if you guys want to keep up with that so that is what diamond camo looks like but now let's go ahead and talk about how you can actually get it inside of the test server which which once again should be the exact same way as how you'll be able to get it when it does come out to the global and Garena servers. The first step is that you do have to get your weapon gold. You don't have to get a Damascus, you don't have to get a platinum, you just have to get the weapon gold. So for example, Terry Maskman with his QXR, the first thing he did was he actually grinded to get the weapon gold. Then as soon as you get the weapon gold, the diamond grind will begin and the diamond grind is different for each class of weapons. So uh, for ARs, basically what you have to do is this. What you need to do is number one, obviously get your AR gold. And then number two, what you need to do is hop into a game and you need to get 10 kills with that weapon. Or you could get more than 10 kills. You could get 20 kills, 30 kills, 40 kills, 50 kills. However many kills you get, basically uh, that will now count for one game. Then what you need to do is continue repeating this. And basically every time you get a game with 10 plus kills, it will count for one. So if you get 50 kills in a game, it's not gonna count five times. It will only count once. So in other words, you need to play 150 games with this weapon that you wanna get diamond. And in each one of those games, you need to get at least 10 kills with that weapon. Now, what's cool about this is I'm not 100% sure on this, but it seems like you could actually be grinding multiple guns at once. So let's say you play a game and you get 10 kills with the, uh, I don't know, the, the HBR. Then as soon as you get those 10 kills with the HBR, you could go ahead and switch over to the LK24, get 10 kills with that gun. And then as soon as you get those 10 kills, you can go ahead and switch over to the PK57 and get 10 kills. So basically you could be grinding multiple guns in each game. Cause then as soon as that game is over, now basically you have gotten one out of 150 games for the HBR, the LK24 and the PK57. Which seems like that will be the most effective way to actually grind for camos inside of COD Mobile. So that's how you get it for the ARs, 150 games of 10 plus kills. Uh, for the snipers, it's the exact Exact same thing except it's 120 games uh lmgs is 120 smgs is 120 shotguns are 120 marksman rifle i assume is 120 i wasn't actually able to check but i'd assume it's the same as the snipers the knives are a little bit different and i would assume the axe as well i can't see the axe in the test server but i assume it's the same as the knife uh basically all you have to do with that is just get 500 kills after you get gold it doesn't matter how many games you play it doesn't matter anything like that all you have to do is just get 500 kills so pretty simple there for the launchers, you have to destroy 100 UAVs per launcher. So the SMRS, you have to destroy 100 UAVs after you get a gold. And the FHJ, you need to destroy 100 UAVs after you get a gold. Then finally, the pistols is the same as all of the other guns. You just have to do it in 80 games as opposed to 120 or 150. You just have to do it in 80 games. So that is how you do get diamond. One more time, first thing you do is you get the weapon that you want to get diamond. You get a gold. Second thing is you complete the diamond challenge, which for most weapons is going to be play anywhere from 80 to about 150 games and in each one of those games you're gonna have to get 10 kills or above with that weapon now before i actually go i do want to let you guys know that i will be doing a question and answer or a q a inside of the tribe gaming discord which you guys can join with the link down below or you can go to discord.gg slash tribe gaming to join the server and at these times that you guys can see on your screen right now i will be doing a q a inside of the server for about 30 to 45 minutes 
So definitely make sure that you do join the Discord if you do want to ask me any questions or just talk to me or anything like that. And also join my Discord, which is discord.gg slash hawksnest if you guys would like to participate in a bunch of the cool stuff I do do on my Discord, including giveaways, questions and answers, polls, gun testing, all of the stuff that I do like to do inside of my Discord. But yeah, so with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Peace.